हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू टूडेज लाइव एंड टूडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी नो दिस स्टोरी आई इज अबाउट समबडी हु हैड अ वेरी हाई लेवल ऑफ डायबिटीज सो आई शेयर्ड सम टू लाइंस अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन ऑन यस्टरडेज लाइव दिस इज अबाउट वेरी हाई लेवल डायबिटीज now let me tell you what what i mean by exactly very high level diabetes so this person is a young person i think he is 45 years of age approximately his post men sugar when diagnosed was 625 you can write it down or i will write for you the post men sugar was 625 maybe if i am wrong he will correct it i asked him to be on live today and his fasting was three hundred and something i don't remember exactly three hundred and sixty these were the readings right so fasting was six twenty five and uh, fasting was three hundred and sixty and post meal was six hundred and twenty five now what do you think about this range isn't it scary Diabetes diagnosed first time and it is on the sky. What will happen? Now he had some friends who were doctors. He immediately called few some of his friends and asked, "Ki, what is this? And what will happen? What will I need to do?" So what do you think? Doctor would have suggested. Doctor suggested obviously this is very high diabetes, and they are right. this very high diabetes you need to immediately shift start some tablets or some suggested you need to start with insulin because 625 laboratory readings is very high it was not a glucometer reading because a glucometer reading would have been 20 per would have had a 20% error so this was not a normal kind of diabetes yes mr abhijit you are correct most doctor the specialist suggested that he should be on insulin and they were right from the medical context now he went to another doctor and another doctor just to take the opinion can somebody save me from insulin his question was can somebody save me from insulin and second question can somebody save me from lifelong medicines because he is a socially responsible person he has a lot of friends a lot of friends are diabetic patients himself and a lot of friends are doctors so he he understood that once he is on tablets it's forever so now the question was what he should do and what his family and friends were suggesting everybody was suggesting you need to do something urgently now the question was 625 is urgency no doubt about it but what i always say to the patient keep this in control if you get panicked nobody can save you nobody can save you and if you are in control you can find two and you can find two or five people who can help you in controlling and managing this but then you will always say sir 625 was it not an emergency i say yes Now just imagine there are two patients with the same reading, patient A and patient B. So this this patient A, this patient B. Now patient A when came, he was in panic. Sir, please do something. I am six twenty five. I will die. Doctor said that I may have kidney failure. I may get collapse. I may get coma, or I may get so many complications. My kidney may be damaged. My brain may be damaged. I may get a heart attack. See if he is saying like this, that means he is in a panic mode. What I will do? Simple solution. Any doctor will advise. Don't worry. Get admitted. I will start insulin, and your sugar will be in control within one day. Fair enough. Because patient is in panic. He is in actual critical panic level that he needs sugar control immediately. Now you say this doctor is fault. I will say no, because if this person sugar is not controlled, 
this person may get a heart attack just because of anxiety of this high blood sugar doctors need to act that way right so he will be admitted given insulin and his sugar will be down immediately the second patient patient b patient b said sir my sugar is 625 and readings are 360 i know these are very very high readings please advise me what i can do the best now see he asked the same thing but he wanted something better he wanted a best treatment so he was cool composed and want the best treatment right so he will probably get he, he will be advised see there are two options you must get admitted and uh, get an insulin to get it fast so and he will uh, he will ask sir is it really necessary to make it so fast or can we wait for few days with tablets the doctor will be surely happy doctor will surely happy to say we can try some tablets and just wait for uh, five or seven days to see how it responds if it responds great if it doesn't respond we will shift you on insulin that will be absolutely practical and a good clinical judgment now he was not a person a or b he was a person c now what is this person c he thought that if once i start tablets it will be forever once i start insulin it will be forever he asked doctor what is diabetes he tried to understand more what he understood is that lack of exercise is one cause diet is another cause stress is another cause so he got number of causes one and two and three so now he is with three causes which are modifiable let me make it, make it another important statement he was with three causes and these three causes all were modifiable then he asked whether there are more factors which he didn't go get answer more factors are genetic causes yes if you have genetic traits and tendency you tend to get diabetes but then he got three modifiable causes right which everybody of you knows every diabetic in the world knows that there are three modifiable causes lifestyle lack of exercise and diet and mind fourth so he said can i work upon myself for at least few days to see how does this diabetes how does this blood sugar respond to my efforts now he was not a he was not b but he was a c kind of a guy a third kind of a guy he wanted he was ready to take his own responsibility so doctor said see it is actually high sugar but then it is not a critical emergency that if you wait for 3 or 4 days or 5 days something will happen but for the first person for the first patient he was in panic anything could have happened to him just because of his anxiety so see the different kind of patient different kind of responses different kind of treatment so he asked for some time and then he rigorously worked he worked rigorously on himself from all the possible directions he corrected his diet and started exercise and changed his lifestyle and also worked on his mind this i always advise if you know you have some disease to work on mind first work on all the modifiable factors and see response will def definitely come uh, now you will be asking will response come in all the cases or is it right to stay with 625 blood sugar for long let me answer the first question response will not come in all the cases i am not saying it is 100% guarantee but let me tell you if response comes it will be worth doing everything now second uh, what was the second question yeah will it come come or to normal or will it come will it respond in all the cases no it will not respond because if genetic cause is predominant it may not respond but if mind cause is predominant it will respond if diet causes predominant it will respond it if lifestyle causes predominant it will respond 
if lack of exercise is the cause it will still respond so you have more chances of getting a positive response than not getting it so now tell me should you try or should that patient try okay one more question which was left unanswered is it right or is it safe to hold this 625 reading for few more days guys please tell me when somebody checks blood sugar for the first time and he gets a blood sugar 625 how many of you can tell me how long this was 625 since how long this patient was having a higher blood sugar can anybody tell me simple go for glycosylated hemoglobin it was i think it was 11 i don't remember exactly so glycosylated hemoglobin tell you that how how long this was there three months or more or less in this case it was more than three months so this guy was having 600 or 500 or 625 or 525 these kind of readings since past three months nothing happened why exactly something will happen in just week or 10 days just think about it i am not advising you to be with a very high blood sugar please understand but he was just going to start his treatment so was it urgent to control it in two or three days or could he wait for five or seven or ten days now this is the biggest question it was his choice and he decided i will wait for 10 days so he wait for 10 days he asked 10 days time from doctor and his mind he was thinking of waiting for 15 days giving only 15 days to himself to see whether he can move his readings towards gravity towards lower side so he started all he can do and he was a firm believer of a powers of mind and a subconscious mind he knew that so he worked on his diet and started exercising and he changed his lifestyle and he also started working on his mind what happened what was the result within one week blood sugars came down by more than 100 milligrams <coughs> more than 100 milligrams it was reduced next week it was again more than 100 now it is just 3.5 or 4 months his blood sugars are absolutely normal no tablets no insulin no medication and this happened just because his causes were the modifiable causes he is perfectly having normal readings he was not even on any treatment he was not even taking my treatment i will not take unnecessary credit because he deserves the credit he did all the job but why i shared this inspiring story when i am not directly involved i shared this inspiring story that to tell you that if you decide you can help yourself to a huge extent and this is what i want from everybody everybody suffering from any kind of disease absolutely any kind of disease now was is he completely cured now i don't know because if genetic factors are dominant maybe he will get it again but at present his blood sugars are perfectly normal fasting is something around 90 or 100 and post meal is 160 now do he really need any medication or insulin right now no and it is completely just because he has taken his own responsibility in his own hands he decided that he will not panic he decided that he will fight he decided that he will just fight it for 15 days and with these efforts he has rewritten his story because otherwise there was no option for doctor to start insulin or tablets and he would have been lifelong on tablets now when he shared his amazing story he was in our seminar so it's like that i have already done this and then he understood our model of treatment and then he approached us i want to take your franchise and he's the same man I shared yesterday that somebody wanted to take our franchise because he knew that we are the only one brand all over India who is working on all these aspects. We work on diet, 
and in the form of nutrigenomics, we go for genetic testing, we work on lifestyle, we work on mind, and he suddenly saw that this works. He was himself the biggest proof that this system works. We need not convince him. We did not even try to convince him that this system works because he was the living proof that this system can work wonders. But he said that I tried to tell few people that you can also try this. But then nobody took him seriously. Nobody believed him. So he said, sir, I want to help people and I want this kind of franchisee which works on all different models. You just please train me a bit because I am, I am not a trained person. I will help more people. So I said, you will have to appoint one homeopathy doctor. Counselor, we will train you to be the best counselor because you can talk your experience. So he was so happy to see this kind of a model, this kind of healthcare, which works on all the causes, the modifiable causes and the non-modifiable causes. Yes, diabetes have both modifiable causes and the non-modifiable causes. I will write in this comment box for you. This is not about diabetes. This is about everything. Modifiable causes. These are important. This is complete in your hands. And there are some non-modifiable causes. Yes, non-modifiable So there are the modifiable causes and non-modifiable causes. Modifiable causes are present in almost all the chronic diseases. All. Now I, I was talking about diabetes because that patient had diabetes. Now usually uh, in the seminar, my doctor said, precisely Dr. Akash said, sir, please take name of these 10 diseases. Otherwise people will think that we do not have cure for these 10 diseases. Let me tell you, we work for all the diseases on this planet. If you have taken name of your disease or do not have taken name of your disease, doesn't matter. Because all have these two kinds of causes, modifiable and non-modifiable. Fortunately, with the presence of genetic-based medicine, we work on both kinds of causes, modifiable as well as non-modifiable. I want you to take advantage of this, but before that, I want you to take advantage of you own. You have so many powers, guys. Use it. If you don't use it, you are anyway going to lose it. So use it properly. If you want some help, we are always there. But use it to the best. For this, you can also go on my YouTube and watch the video how you can, how to unleash your inner healing powers. This is the video which is already present on YouTube, this will give you different ways by which you can unleash, you can, we can strengthen the inner healing power and use it for your benefit, right? Now, as regard to this person, if suppose he doesn't get completely cured, doesn't matter. We can give him a treatment for modifiable cause, isn't it? For non-modifiable cause, which is genes and genetic expression can still be modified. So there is almost nothing called as a non-modifiable. They are non-modifiable for you, but can be modified by a right kind of treatment. Okay, let me see. Just is there anything to answer more? Okay, I have not posted this. Yeah. So there are two causes of any disease, modifiable and non-modifiable or unmodifiable. Modifiable can easily be modified by you. Just try your best and try for some different ways to cover diet and exercise and lifestyle. And there are some non-modifiable causes which are the genes, the inheritance or the acquired genetic factors or maybe the result of some medicine side effects, right? So these factors can be taken care of by medicines. So practically, if you see our model, it can help in absolutely any kind of disease. It can help in absolutely any kind of disease, whether somebody have told you that there is a medicine for disease or whether somebody have told you there is no medicine. Still, we can help you because we work on all the possible causes of the disease. I'm sure this is an inspiring story and this must have inspired you. 
If you feel inspired by this story, please share this to as many people as possible. This will be also on YouTube. You can share the Facebook link or you can share the YouTube link. See if you can inspire few people and few people can do the changes and comment here. You will be blessed. So I want you to get more and more blessings. Share this story to as many people as possible. With this, I, I also wish you a very happy, healthy and a prosperous new year. So thank you for being with me throughout 2018. I promise you that I will give you a great 2019. Right? Thank you guys. I will be posting a new year video very soon. Please be with me. Be with me. I will be giving you some tasks in 2019. Some tasks to change your life, change your health and change your medicine list. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.